hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the gaze are subjected to the couple moments shown determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant couple moments so we are given this m1 which is making uh 20 degrees with the xy plane and we are given this m2 which is lying in the xy plane and it is making 30 degrees with the y axis so in order to find the resultant couple moment we have to find the components we have to resolve this m1 and m2 into its components along the x y and z axis and we have to represent this m1 and m2 as a cartesian vectors so we can write that m1 vector this will be equal to so now if we resolve this f1 m1 this m1 is making uh, 20 degrees with the x y plane so it will have one component in the x y plane and this one will be let me write that this is m1 x y since this will be the component in the x y plane and that component will be acting like this and m1 x y will be the cost component if we consider this uh standing triangle so we can say that m1 x y this will be equal to 40 cos of 20 and then this m1 x y is making 15 degrees with the y axis so again we will have two components we will have one component in this direction so this component is along the y direction so this one will be uh, the m1 y component and m1 y will be the cos component of this m1 x y so this one will be m1 x y cos of 15 so m1 x y is 40 cos of 20 cos of 15 and then we will have one component in this direction that is in the positive x like this and this one will be the sine component of m1 x y so we can write that m1 x is m1 x y which is 40 cos of 20 sine of 15 and similarly uh, again if we consider this triangle so this one will be m1 z component that is acting in the negative z so we will write that m1 z this is equal to 40 uh, sine of 20 that will be the sine component only this component m1 x y is the cos component and this one will be the sine component and it is acting in the downward direction so now the x component of m1 is 40 cos of uh, 20 sine of 15 so this gives us 9.728 so this is let, let me write that this is uh 9.728 this is these are the only magnitude similarly m1 y is 40 cos of 20 uh cos of 15 this gives us 36.307 and remember that the units are pound feet since these are the components of the uh, moment vector similarly m1 z is 40 sine of 20 40 sine of 20 this is 13.681 pound feet so now we can write this m1 as a cartesian vector so m1 has uh, x component and that x component is in the uh, in the positive x like this this is the x component so we will write that this is plus m1 x is 9.728 and this is in the positive i similarly we have m1 y that is acting in the positive y like this this is 36.307 so we will write plus 36.307 in the positive j and similarly we have the z component which is 13.681 and that component is in the negative z so we will write minus 13.681 in the negative k similarly uh, this m2 is acting in the xy plane it is only making 30 degrees with the y axis so we can resolve it so it will have one component in the positive y it will have one component in the negative x so the uh, the x component will be the sine component of this 30 so let me write that m2 is uh, 30 m2 magnitude is 30 so 30 sine of 30 so this component this is in the negative z so we will write that this is in the negative i 
and then it will have one component in the positive j and that is the cos component so we will write plus 30 cos of 30 in the positive j and since it is in the xy plane so its k component will become zero so that is zero k so now we can find the resultant we can say that the resultant couple moment vector that will be equal to m1 vector plus m2 vector and we will add up all the i, I component with i j with j and k with k so we we need to add up the i component so the i component is 9.728 minus 30 sine of 30 so this gives us minus 5.272 i then we'll, we will add up the j component so the j component is 36.307 plus 30 cos of 30 so this gives us uh, plus 62.288 j and since this k component is zero so we will get that minus 13.681 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the of the resultant couple moment so now in the problem statement we are asked to find the magnitude and coordinate direction angles we can find the magnitude by using the pythagoras theorem so let me find the magnitude that magnitude of the resultant will be equal to so we have to take the square of the magnitude of all the components so 5.272 square plus 62.288 square plus 13.681 square and then we have to take the square root so the resultant magnitude comes out to be 63.99 so this is equal to we can write that this is 63.99 pound feet and similarly uh, as we know from chapter 2 that any cartesian vector can be represented in terms of its coordinate direction angles so that a resultant couple moment vector can also be written as the magnitude this mcr this magnitude times cos of alpha i plus this again magnitude of the resultant couple moment cos of beta j plus this magnitude times cos of gamma k we can represent we can always represent any cartesian vector in terms of alpha beta and gamma and alpha beta and gamma are the angles of uh, this particular vector with the x y and z axis respectively so now if we compare this vector with this um, so we can write that this is equal to this so we can write that m c r cos of alpha this is equal to minus 5.272 similarly we can say that this is equal to 62.288 and this is equal to this and now if we divide both sides of equation by this uh, magnitude so then cos of alpha will be equal to the ratio of uh, the x component divided by the magnitude similarly cos of beta will be the y component divided by the magnitude and the co uh, cos of gamma will be the z component divided by the magnitude and if we take cos inverse so we will be able to find that alpha beta and gamma so alpha will be equal to cos of inverse divided by the mag the ratio of the x component divided by the magnitude which is 63.99 similarly beta will be equal to cos inverse the y magnitude the y component along with the sign right that is mine the here we have written that this is minus so this is not the magnitude it is the uh, magnitude along with the direction so that is 62.288 divided by the magnitude which is 63.99 similarly gamma will be equal to cos inverse and then the magnitude along with the direction so that is minus so minus 13.681 divided by magnitude 63.99 so cos inverse minus 5.272 divided by 63.99 this gives us 94 alpha is 94.725 degrees similarly the beta will be 62.288 so that is 13.244 degrees and the gamma is minus 13.681 
this is equal to 102.345 degrees so now the the resultant of m1 and m2 magnitude is 63.99 pound feet and it is making uh, 94.725 degrees with the x-axis is 13.244 with the y and with the z it is making 102.345 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions from hibler statics